it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here today with part one of my entire coloring book collection and finished pages. Part one only has 20 books in it, but we will see because it may end up being the longest part of them all. It is actually my Disney coloring book collection. So I have 20 Disney related coloring books. I have gone through them all and tagged them which pages I finished. And whew, it is a lot. So I hope you are ready and excited because I am definitely excited to show you. I have done coloring collection videos in the past, but never including my finished pages. And also some things have changed since then, obviously a lot of new stuff. And I actually gave away some things to my niece because I just wasn't gonna use it anymore. So this will be new for all of us. Okay, so my first book is the Tsum Tsum pixel art book. Uh, I want to say, I'm trying to look at my stack, 18 out of the 20 are from French sources. So if you saw my last haul video, that gave you a flip through of some of these specifically and also a link of where to get them. I get them from either Amazon UK or Amazon France. So this is the Sum Sum book. I used to be addicted to playing this phone game and I finished one page in here so far, but I'm probably going to color in here after this video. And I finished Jasmine. I've decided to try the X method, have never tried it before until these books, and I'm loving it a whole heckin' ton. I'm gonna keep my tab in there because I'm actually gonna show you this and my wrap up for the end of the month too. So that is book number one, nice and easy. Book number two is the Disney Babies version of the pixel art. So I have finished three in here so far. I finished Simba. I finished Mulan. And I have finished whoa, Pocahontas. So there are the three of those. Again, all these tabs, these are new in June pages. I have done flip throughs. You won't really see much if I flip through now, but definitely look up my video. I'll probably have it tagged in the cards. I don't know what side it's on. Hopefully that side. I've been doing that more and I hope that's been helpful for people. Okay, now this is one of my first ever coloring books. Oh, that's a lot of glare and Disney coloring books. And I actually don't really love it. So this is the Disney Princess Art Therapy book. Um, so many pages in here are wallpaper. So I've tagged some I've done, let's see. And barely. This was back when I really only had color pencils, first of all. So there's that. I just colored the princesses directly. Uh, I did. I got watercolors. I don't know if this was actually me though, because it kind of doesn't seem like me. I'm wondering if I let somebody else color with me and use this book. Not positive. This one was definitely me and essentially the only picture I've actually finished in here. But I do really like this one, so that's nice. And then finally, again, I don't think I did this page, but I don't remember, so maybe I did it? Don't know, but that's it in that book. Now, looking back, there are a few pages that are nice, but this really isn't it for me. That's a lot of wallpaper, but maybe this is good for testing stuff in. I think I did a little bit of that too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it, which is fine, but just testing different markers in, whatever you gotta do, that's that one. Okay, next, <laughs> this is the Disney Dreams collection by Thomas Kincaid, or the art is by Thomas Kincaid. Uh, I was desperate to get this book. This was like the only American released Disney book, and it is gorgeous. It has the, Thomas Kincaid image on one side and then what you color on the other side. But I have not finished a page in here and this is how far I have gotten at all. Holy, I was so obsessed with trying to be exact that I just got overwhelmed and never finished one. So I might try and either scrap this page and try something else or go back to this. I really should because this is such a beautiful book. <clears throat> and again, it's one of the only American released Disney books. So this is definitely easy to get. I actually got this in store in Barnes and Noble. So there's that one. Okay, now the rest of them are all French. First up 
is the ABC Dier. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is basically the alphabet book. This is a really cool book. Each letter is a letter of the alphabet in order that goes with a character. So I finished two in here. Um, the only thing, again, this is from France. Some of the letters don't match up with what we would think they would in English. So, like, Moana is called Viana over there. So, instead of being for M, she's under V. I've done two pages. I have done Olaf. And I actually did this page. This is washi tape in the letter. And then there's a whole bunch of glitter on this one, which I think you're seeing. So, that's nice. But I thought that was really cool. I didn't know how I was going to be able to fill the letter without making it look incredibly streaky. So I used the tape. Whenever I do one of these types of books, that always slide, okay. And then my second one is Tigger. I love Tigger. Again, this is washi tape. And then the rest of it is color pencils that I just push really hard. Actually, the background on this one is watercolor paint. But yes, so I really love this. I'm hoping to do more in here, especially with the washi tape. There's actually different styles of letters though. So some of them are gonna be easier to do with the tape method and some are not. Like that's gonna be a lot of cutting around, but I think it will be worth it overall. So this is definitely a really cool book if you haven't looked into it. There's a ton of this type that have like the top loading and they're all really tempting, but so far I only have two, which I'm pretty proud of the restraint. But the second one is coming up right now. This is also in my most recent haul, so I'm not gonna flip through too much, but this is the Disney Silhouettes. And basically, uh, all the pages are silhouettes of characters and just like ideas of what they're about in the background. So, for example, that's Cusco and the Llamas and Robin Hood and archery stuff. So I think this is gonna be really cool and a whole lot of fun. And I'm hoping to get to this this month and do a page in here. Okay, next up, I'm hoping my pile doesn't fall because that will be a very loud noise and I don't wanna damage my books. So next up, another one that I'm gonna go very quick. This was in my most recent haul. I did a whole flip through. This is basically the kids version of the books I'm about to show you. And they're pretending they're mystery colors, but it's pretty obvious what they are. And these are colored by numbers. So I picked Mickey and Friends because I have a lot of the other characters, not enough Mickey. Okay, this one may be my favorite. There are a lot of them my favorite. This is Disney Vitro. I got this from my husband for Valentine's Day. This is a big boy, might not be able to get it all on camera. I love this book, but this is one of the books that I really want everything to be perfect. So it takes me a long time to do a page and I'm pretty scared. I have one work in progress. This is Princess Ada from Bugs Life. As you can see, like this isn't um, blended yet. That's starting to be blended. And I mostly have my colors picked. A lot of this isn't blended also. So a lot of work to do. You can tell the difference between blended and not blended. So a lot, a lot of work to do. I am using colored pencils in this book though. So it really takes a lot of sharpening and a lot of blending and a lot of, whew. so these are double-sided. I'll take that out. Next is Hank from Finding Dory. He's cool. I really like this one. I like the colors together. Thought it looks pretty cool. Then we got, I actually am not sure if it's gonna rub off onto the next page. So I've just put tissue paper. Um, since I've done this, I've gotten a workable fixative, but I haven't gone and done it. This was the first page I did. This is Donald and Daisy. This took me days, probably three or four days. I love it so much though. I love this book. And think about it. This had so much white space. Whew. Then I actually tried one because um, it's actually uh, broken up with titles of each section. So apparently I've written down this section means friends forever. So on the back of this, I actually used Derwent Ink Tents and it went much, much quicker. And it's definitely, I think still looks really good, but it does make your pages crinkly. And I'm not sure if I want that for me in this book. A lot of times it doesn't bother me, but this is my special book, so. But I thought that looks really cool. So that's Robin Hood and the little kids. And that's all I've done here so far. So 
Love that. There's a hundred pages in there. So that's pretty great. Okay, now we're getting down into the color by numbers. This one, I have the most done in this. This, no, I have the most done in the second one. I don't know, we'll see. This is Grand Classics Volume 1. So far, there are 12 of, nope, there are some of these out. Whew, I'm tripping over my words because I'm so excited. I apologize. There are seven of these out. I have all seven. This is Volume 1. I actually did not purchase this first. I purchased Volume 2 and 3 first but then I purchased this quickly after. Okay, let me show you what we got in here. Bam, Tinkerbell. So, I think you can see, it's a mystery what you're gonna get. The first few volumes especially have very defined black outlines that I personally do first, and that kind of gives me a hint at what the page is gonna be, obviously, and then I color it in. This one in particular, I used, I can reach them, so I'll show you, the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. A lot of the French Instagrammers seem to use these, so I picked some up. I actually, uh, what store was that? Blick was the first, the last store I went into before quarantine on March 16th and picked up a bunch of those. So what I do personally, I do the black outline first and then I go section by section and I intentionally do line by line. So it is streaky because these are water-based markers, but hopefully it's uniformly streaky and that's, that's enough for me. So yes, this is Tinkerbell, page number one. I just love it. I love it. Then I did <laughs> Heimlich from Bugs Life. I'm pretty sure for this one I used Crayola Super Tips and I do that a lot. I really do love using markers. You'll see some later that I did not, but I love the look of markers because it's so much bolder. Yes, here we go. So a two for, oh no. Why can't I remember his name now? Is Crush the dad? It must be, so Crush and Squirt. So Finding Nemo and then the Cheshire Cat. Both of these, I used color pencils. I think back in the beginning, these were one of the earlier pages, I was using my Prismacolors, but these are large books. These are nor bigger than normal size books. So they take a lot of your color pencil. They really eat it up. I don't really recommend using an expensive brand. Obviously it's your stuff, so you do you. But I like using Crayola because one, there's tons of colors and two, they're very, cost effective so I don't really mind if I have to sharpen six times on one page so those are two examples of color pencils I still do my black outlining in marker though because I think that makes it bold no matter what yes so these are the ones I did in color pencil I always slip a sheet in until the opposite side is done just in case it rubs off it doesn't really, but I also accidentally printed out a bunch of coupons that I don't need, so it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not wasting paper, and then I always use these as uh, scrap paper behind my coloring. Anyway, so yeah, Evil Queen. I'm not going to talk too much. I just kind of needed to give you an introduction. Bambi and Thumper. As you can see, I pressed really, really hard for Bambi, and then I kind of did lighter. So I really do like how these look, but I love the bold marker look even more. Dumbo and Timothy. I don't remember his name, but he's from Rescuers Down Under. I've only seen that movie once or twice. So. Bruce. Uh, a lot of the Pixar ones don't have as bold lines, and it's a little strange, but you know. Uh oh, what's his name either? Ratcliffe? It must be. From Pocahontas. Flower. Stitch. There's a ton of Stitch pictures amongst all of these. He's a popular guy, so. Rat again from Green Mouse Detective. Uh, Cusco as a baby. I love that page. So cute. Emperor Zerg from Toy Story 2. My girl Ursula from Little Mermaid. And Kida from Atlantis. So that's it in book number one. I think I counted 
And amongst all these books, I've done 118 pages. So that's why I assume this flip through is going to be a little bit long. But I think we're moving pretty quick. We're only at 15 minutes. Okay, volume two. Volume two is my favorite volume. I've done the most in here. And I love the pages a lot. So this book has a lot of Winnie the Pooh, especially amongst the first few. And I think that's why I love it. So I actually have done a whole bunch just right in the beginning. So this is, oh man, I don't know his name either, but he's from Robin Hood. Do the kids have names? He might just be little brother. And then the white rabbit. I love it when they do this and they like have the pages coordinate a little because obviously these are both rabbits. And then like they're pointing. So this is Jack from Cinderella and Scuttle from Little Mermaid. Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog and the Indian Chief from Peter Pan. These are them as squirrels, Arthur and a lady squirrel from Sword in the Stone and Aladdin and Jasmine from Aladdin. This is like a test and I'm on the spot. Philippe and Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. And of course, this is a great example of color pencil versus marker. This is my favorite page in the whole book. Like why I bought this book. So this is in marker, that's in color pencil. And I love them both, but I just, this pops to me. So, Tigger, Eeyore, and Rabbit. And that's it for in a row. Then I have Ariel. And I have the Sultan and Zeus. I see, isn't it so fun? They're like happy dads looking at each other. Oh, and I get questions. They do not bleed through. Every, every, very rarely, like I think I put a drop of water on that by accident and that's why it bled through. Very, very, very rarely will you see some shadowing, but almost never. You just have to be careful and everything will be fine. A lot of the times um, I actually do the backgrounds and as much as I can in marker and then I do some of the skin tones in color pencil just because it's harder to match skin tones in marker. So that's kind of a tip too. And then you could always get a few skin tone color pencils specifically for this. Maid Marian from Robin Hood and Mulan. This is another one of my favorite pages. That's why I love this book so much. This is Scrooge McDuck. And I don't remember his name either. Oh, he's from Black Cauldron. But I do not remember his name right now. I apologize. Flounder and the Shark from Little Mermaid. Sir Hiss from Robin Hood. Nikki in Fantasia, Timothy Mouse, Dopey. This one I actually did in scented markers. That was a lot of fun, it smells real good. Winnie the Pooh, when he's stuck in the honey tree. Naveen as a frog. Evil Queen, Snow White. Adult Cusco. <laughs> Miko and Lilo, Pocahontas and Lilo and Stitch, Mushu and Merlin, Mulan and Sword in the Stone, and this guy from Hunchback. Does he have a name? Jester? I don't know his name either, but that's volume number two. Okay, volume number three. This book has a ton of fairies from Tinkerbell spin-off movies, and I don't actually have much experience with them. I did watch the first one just to know what was going on, but, so if you do love the fairies, this is a good one for you. Anna and Elsa, these were also with color pencils, so this is like back when I would press really, really hard and sharpen a whole heckin' ton. Vanellope and Moana, so Wreck-It Roth and Moana. Oh. Now I'm gonna forget his name, but he's the bad guy from Big Hero 6. Yeah, here's an example of one of those fairies. I have no idea who she is, but I needed to start doing them, so I did. <laughs> Alice and Tiger Lily. I love, again, I love that the pages kind of coordinate. Oh no, what's his name? 
The sloth from Zootopia. Oh man, sorry. I don't really like Zootopia, if I'm honest. So, Kronk. I love Kronk. Snow White. Judy and Nick from Zootopia. Pocahontas and Miko. Kristoff and Olaf. These were kind of hard because it's so many shades of gray. Wesselton. Wesselton. And this is going to be Hans. And apparently I started his eyeballs and that was all I got. So <laughs> hope that's not too spooky. My boy Baymax. He's in his super suit. I love these pages in general and together. Genie and Goofy. I, I love Goofy. Goofy's my favorite of the original guys. There is Pete. Tinkerbell. Um, another tip, a lot, especially of the French Instagrammers, do cool stuff with these books. So they'll do like backgrounds different and they'll add glitter and they'll make their own backgrounds. And this is Ellie from Up. So you definitely, even though they're color by number, you can take some creative license with them. Okay, volume four. As we go on, there's less and less done because I got them later and later. Volume four, Jasmine and Nala. Volume four has a heckin' ton of sequel movies in it. So a lot of the direct to DVD movies, Cinderella 2, Pocahontas 2, Little Mermaid 2, all those weird ones. I think it's kind of weird decisions, but again, if that's your jam, then this is the book for you, because they're in here. And there's a good amount of original movies too, so definitely still worth it if you want to collect them all. But maybe not get this first if you're not into the sequels. Robin Hood in disguise. Belle. Lotso. And again, this is from Emperor's New Groove 2. And that's Yzma, I think. Right? That's not Yzma, is it? I don't know what that is. Let's, let's peek at what that is. What, page 89? Yeah, it says Cusco 2, King Kronk. So, I don't know. That is volume 4. Volume 5. Volume 5 has the same problem Volume 7 has, which is a lot of the pages are dark for no reason. Again, it's not all of them. And again, you can kind of just adjust as you see fit. But yeah, here's Thomas O'Malley. And it's darker than you'd expect him to be, or that I'd expect him to be. And yeah, look how dark that is. That is, oh man, what's his name? <laughs> From Mulan, and that's Cricky, I know that. So this is a very good example of my method of doing essentially stripes because you can definitely see that in the background. I don't remember what I used for this, so oops. And then finally, Iago. So not too much done in these later ones. Let's see if I can quickly show you some of the dark images. They're just dark. I don't like so dark. Why? So, okay. Volume six and seven are the ones I just got. So there are no pages done yet, but here they are. Volume six, my personal first take of it is there's not black lines like there are in a lot of the other ones. Um, they are outlined, but they're outlined in just like different lighter versions of what, so you can see this is gray instead of black and that's pink instead of black. I personally might try to do it black anyway, but we'll see. And then volume seven, also seems to have the problem of making things really dark for no reason. So that's weird. But again, if you just pick lighter colors, you should be able to make it as light as you need. You can barely see anything on this page. So that's those two. Ugh, let me move some stuff. We're down to the final stretch. Ah! I don't wanna knock everything over. Okay. There are two volumes of these, and I love these. I hope they come out with more. These are Optical Illusion, is what I think that says. I've looked it up in the past. But basically, when you open the page, you'll see this. But then when you color it, you'll see that. For volume one, they didn't relate at all. <laughs> so like, 
that's Mufasa, and that's the guy from Coco, who I'm again blanking on. I need to watch some of these movies again, the newer ones, but anyway. So yeah, this is the lamp, but that's not going to be the lamp in there. There is a Merlin page. You can kind of still see Ursula in the background. I don't mind that. I think it's fun to see who's going to pop out, so it doesn't really bother me that I can kind of see it. And also, I feel like it's more noticeable in the camera than it even is in person. So, I really like that Merlin picture. And there's, oh no, the sister from Lilo and Stitch. What's happening to me? Ugh, I don't know. That's her. That's her, though. Bambi and an old-time Goofy. This one I press real, real hard in color pencil. And that's markers again. Plutes, my boy Plutes. And Cogsworth. Apparently when I first went to Disney in like 1993 or four or something like that, I went up to him and I said, hey Plutes. And that's my Pluto legacy. Tito from Oliver and Company. I really like this one. This one I did very recently. Sebastian and another old time goofy. This is another one I did with those uh, scented markers, I think. Chicken Little and Tiana. I think there are two Chicken Little pages in all 12 of these books. And I love this page of Tiana. The only thing I've noticed, there does not seem to be any Tarzan pictures in any of these books. I don't know what that's about. I personally don't really like Tarzan, but it's weird to me that it's the only thing not represented. Pumbaa and Phil. I wanted to say Timon, and I'm like, that's wrong. Pumbaa and Phil. Is she the blue fairy too? She must be, the blue fairy. Yeah, she's the only blue fairy. I was mixing it up with the fairy godmother. Ay, ay, ay. Blue fairy from Pinocchio. Darkwing Duck. I never watched this originally. I tried to watch it a few years ago. This is a dry cartoon, let me tell you. But there he is. Fear and Hero from Big Hero 6. I think fear is my in charge emotion. In case you want to know a little more about me. <laughs> and then I think this is supposed to be Donald being silly. Not positive, but that's what it says in the back. So I don't know what that's from. Oh, here's a good one. So this is Yzma, and I actually did her eye makeup in glitter pens. So I wanted to try something different. That's the only place the glitter was, so I figured let's let's give it a shot. Why not? Dante from Coco. This book has a lot of the newer movies, as you can see. So it has some Coco. Cin nope, Cinderella. Cruella. This guy that I don't remember his name, is he just like the mole man? He's from Atlantis. And that's that. So I really enjoy these books. I think I enjoy them because they tend to be simpler because they have the double lines so they can't be as intense. And again, I really love the bold outline. So I, I like the simple ones. Okay. Next up, volume two. I have so many books precariously stacked all over. I'm very nervous. Hopefully we do not hear any loud crashes. Optical Illusions, Volume 2. Yes, this is Baby Hercules. Hercules, definitely in my top five. Might be my favorite Disney movie. It is a bold statement to make, but I absolutely love it. What Volume 2 did better than Volume 1 is the background related more to what the picture was. So I don't know if you can tell, but Adult Hercules is back there. So that's kind of cool that they made that adjustment. This is... Which one? Flora, right? Yeah, Flora from Sleeping Beauty. I like that one a lot. And you can see that uh, Sleeping Beauty's dad is in the back. I don't know his name at all. King something. Zazu. And a work in progress. I actually stumbled on this one because I couldn't find enough browns. Can you see how many browns I need? So I have to figure out what to do with that. But I've finished the colors that I started. So whatever I do, it's going to be okay. And that's it in this one. I definitely have to do more in this one. I really like it. 
so yeah okay we're getting there we have three to go so this was my first like fail these are pixar what's good about this is at the time of release there weren't too many pixar movies to choose from so if you like any of the Pixar movies that are in here, there's like seven or eight pages per movie. What's bad about this? There is no black outlining at all. And this book tries very hard to make it look super 3D in my opinion. So you can even see on the cover, I don't love it. I in fact had started this first page when I first got it. I never got anywhere with it. That's all the black in the page. So we'll see. I did end up finishing one page in here officially which is Princess Dot from Bug's Life. And I like it, but again, no black outline. For me, makes it really hard. I decided to just like go in wherever I wanted. So that's the beginning of Kevin, which I'm sure you can tell. Um, my second problem is I'm actually like not a fan of cars and that takes up a large portion of this book. So we'll see. But these are definitely stylistically very different from the rest of them. So be wary if you're going to make this purchase. Oh, hey, maybe you love these so much that that's the challenge you want. So I'm pretty sure this is in one of my previous flips too. I'm going to be linking them all. Hopefully they're all in there somewhere. So, all right, two left. This is the only one that's a different series. There's actually a second book out in this series and I think a third one coming out in July I want to say this is the circles circle magic books and they're kind of like quirkles which I've never done so they're not the same because I think quirkles are really cool and you do you pick your own colors kind of thing these you do not but they're all circles let's do an empty page ah actually perfect so this is what most of the pages look like but then there's also some pages that are more pixely, but if you can see, it's not real pixels. It's like circle pixels. So I don't know how to feel about that, but I have done three in here so far. These are, for me personally, a little harder to like track visually, because again, there's no outlines, but it's definitely fun. I've enjoyed trying them out. So here's a Mushu, and then some Dalmatian friends from 101 Dalmatians. And finally, baby Simba so these are definitely a lot of cute images because babies but they're a little weird they're not what I was expecting as you can see some are just the uh, topic itself some have backgrounds and then there's some pixel ones so I don't know if I'm going to be continuing in this series the second one is just called I think classics and it has classics like all the other books and the third one is going to be Mickey and Friends which lead me to our final book of the video Whew. Mickey and Friends, Mickey, Donald and Company. I really, really like this book. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is Mickey Mouse and his friends through the ages. So the very first page, whoa, oh no, I just cracked my spine. Oh my, okay. Him way back in his first ever appearances all the way through to very recently. Um, I really enjoy this. What I've been doing different in this book, I actually brought this book specifically on my honeymoon, but I've kind of allowed myself to just do the black outlines if I want to. So I do have some pages done. Started in the beginning. They're obviously not all in black and white. But then I kind of just continued and just did the black and white. So my thought is, first of all, if I want to go in with one color, I'm going with one color. As long as I finish the whole color, that's okay with me. And then second of all, now it's just a regular coloring book whenever I come back to it. So doing the black outlines definitely calms me a lot. So I like that. So here's a bunch of just that. And I'm doing the black outlines just in regular order. So from front to back. So 23 pages of black outlines in. And then I have finished a few other pages I did these, um, I wanted to do winter stuff. And then here is Mickey's Christmas Carol, which I've also done a few black outlines in here. 
And there's a whole, there's like 13 Mickey's Christmas Carol pages, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, these are the older stuff and it goes all the way up to the latest ones in here are 2004 when it's the Three Musketeer movie. But I really, really like it. There's some DuckTales, a whole bunch of Mickey's Christmas Carol, a lot of in-between stuff. This is a really cool book. So if you like these guys, I recommend this one. Whew. So that is it. That is all 20 of my Disney coloring books. I hope you enjoyed this part one of my collection. I'm not sure which part or what I'm going to focus on next. This only took 35 minutes. I'm impressed. That was at least 120 pages that I just showed you because I have 118 done in those type of books and then I have those two other books. So, phew, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stick around because more parts are coming next. Maybe I'll try to keep them around half an hour. We'll see. Maybe I'll just grab a, a hunk and see what happens. But I appreciate you. Thank you for the likes and comments and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!